Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the new Adobe Acrobat Reader AI Assistant tool. So this is rolling out right now, so you may or may not have it. Uh, if you do have it, you'll have this little icon up here, a little button. And another thing you could check too is if you go to the menu and then Preferences, you might have this Generative AI Beta selection here that you can enable if it's not enabled. So if you don't have it, uh, you probably have to wait, but if you do have it, then we're gonna give you a little demo of how it works. So right now I think the restrictions are the file can't be larger than 25 megabytes or longer than 120 pages. So we have a couple samples here. So we have this uh, short three page document here with some networking commands. So for example, let's say we wanna know what the ARP command does. Click on this, it'll kind of process your document. So it'll scan through the document and give you a little summary here. And then you'll also see these little markers here indicating where it got that information. So just kind of resummarize this page here. So that's just a, a basic sample. And then you could copy it and paste it into something else if you want. All right, so let's go to this manual here. Uh, we have some information about batteries, cleaning, uh, installation, frequency. Charging voltage. Well, first we have to click on AI Assistant again. Let's say, what is the charging? So you can see here it took the information from this section of the document. So it's just like a nice way to kind of summarize uh, certain parts of the document if you want to maybe reword it or use the information in some other file. Let's see if there's anything else here. Okay, we'll see if there's any warnings, if we could find anything about this right here. Okay, so it's not really pulling anything from here. So if we click on the one, it's pulling it from this warning here. Looks like both sections were found in the same warning area there. All right, let's try a different document here. We've got this TV manual here. So this one's a little longer. Okay, so it gave a little overview of the product here. And you can actually click on their suggestions to get a response. Okay, let's see what we have in this one here, the features, remote control, let's try this. Okay, the remote control uses AAA batteries. Okay, so I found it from here, but you'll notice if we go back up to the top here, that it didn't pull the AA information from this section here. All right, let's see what else we could find here. Okay, here's what it came up with for mounting the TV to the wall. So you can see it pulled it from a few different places here. Section one there, section two, section three. So it pretty much just gave you a summary of all the different sections in here all in one place. So this is a pretty basic summary. And I'm sure if you tried doing this, So it's not going to be like a chat GPT thing where you could actually have it elaborate on the answer it gave you. So it's just a basic Q&A type thing. All right, let's try something else here. Let's 
See, so I couldn't find the pictures in here, so it's only going to be looking at text. Do a little troubleshooting here. All right, so if you don't get a picture on the screen, troubleshooting steps here, pretty basic. We have a couple other uh, sections here. That looks like I took it from a few different pages, so that's good. All right, so you can see it's you know it's not a bad feature. They call it AI, but it seems more like a search and summarize feature, if you ask me. So this would come in handy if you have a really large document and you want to find something real quick, or you want to have a breakdown of a few different sections that you could use in a different document. That way you could just have it summarize the uh, topic for you, and then you could copy and paste it somewhere else. All right, so once again, just look for this AI Assistant icon here in your Acrobat Reader. Okay, I'm going to show you the version I'm running here, in case you're wondering, so you could compare it to yours. So we're going to go to Help and About. All right, version 2024.001.20643. So if you have this version and you don't have this, you might want to go back to the Preferences and make, turn, make sure it's turned on. And this might only be an English thing for right now, too. I remember reading that, so that might be a problem, too, if you're not using English as your default language. And if you are using English, you do have this version, and you still don't see it, uh, you might want to try uninstalling and reinstalling, or just wait for an update and then use it then. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.